Let's solve for this integral. x times x plus cosine x. Cosine x plus x sine x dx. So I can think of three different ways. So first method, let's use... Let's use, make up some terms. So i equal... So first of all, I want to somehow... Because I saw x plus cosine x. Here I have cosine x. So I want to plus x. So cancel out with this one. Then I want to minus x as well. So here we're going to x plus cosine x minus x, right? So copy it, copy it down this one, minus x, right? So it's the same thing, right? Those two terms cancel out, the same thing, cosine x. So x times x plus cosine x dx. So that way I'm I'm fine here because it's looking good because this can cancel out with this. Right? So one over one over x, and so this I can just factor x out minus one. Okay? So this x and this x they can cancel out, and so this over that right? sine minus one x plus cosine x dx. And so this is easy. Log x, of course, absolute value. And this looks like the derivative of log of this bit. Why? Because if we say log of x plus cosine x, let's differentiate that. So put this down on the bottom. I differentiate inside. So 1 minus sine x. Here is sine x minus 1, so simply just minus log as well x plus cosine x plus c. Okay, so let's have a look at method 2. And let me just note the result and see if we can get the same result. So second method. So here we go. So the moment I saw this times that, I want to use partial fraction, right? kind of pa partial fraction. So I can just let I just a over x plus b over x plus cosine x. A and b are not necessarily constants. Right? They could involve trigonometry. So, but anyway, so in the end, my goal is, so the bottom is just multiply this and that. So top is just this times that, this times that. So the x term, right, a times x, b times x. So a plus b times x. a times cosine x. Right, eventually, I want it to be, bottom is the same, top becomes this, right? So, cosine x plus x sine x. Okay, so like I said, so to determine a plus b, so even though here we don't have a, a straight away x term, but here we have x times sine x. So a plus b may be sine x. Okay. A cosine x equal cosine x. So A could be equal to 1. Right? So if A is really equal to 1, B would be equal to sine x minus A. So minus 1. So this looks fine. This looks totally fine because uh, even though they're not constants, but they still satisfy this equation. So like I said, so a over x, a over x, plus b over x plus cosine x. So this is essentially the same result I got before I reached this step. Remember, I got exactly this form, 
right? So the antiderivative of this is log x, absolute value. And this is the derivative of log of this bit, absolute value, exactly, right? So the, uh, the minus sign coming out. Right? So exactly the same result. Here's the third method. So again, we're gonna compare with the answer later in the end. So method, method three. I, I saw this bottom, I say, what about its derivative? x times x plus cosine x, its derivative is what? x times x, x squared, 2x, x times cosine x, differentiate x is 1, copy down cosine x, copy down x, differentiate cosine x, negative sine x. Now that's its derivative. And so to make up its so because because if I want to use log log I'm sorry x times x plus cosine x it's derivative. It must be x times x plus <coughs> cosine x and differentiate inside that is that part 2x cosine x minus x sine x so I have to make up the for this part on top so I x x plus sine x. And so here I have 2, two x plus cosine x minus x sine x. I have to minus 2x minus cosine x plus x sine x. Right, so that this is just zero. Now copy down this part. Plus cosine x plus x sine x. So eventually uh, dx. So this is just x times x plus cosine x. And on top it's just So I'm keeping, keeping, keeping this part, right? This is what I want to use, right? It's derivative. Then combining uh, this, 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 plus cosine x minus cosine x. x sine x, x sine x, twice of them. Okay. Then minus 2x stays. So this part, 2x cosine x sine x. So this and that, uh, 2x, 2x, what happens? So x, x, x can cancel with this x. I'm gonna separate the fraction. Uh, here is a minus plus I use plus. plus. I'll just take out the take out the two. Take out the two. So here is negative one. Right. I cancel out. Cancel x. Cancel x. So x plus cosine x, negative 1, and plus 1 times sine x. dx, dx. Okay, so we just see something familiar. Right? This looks like, again looks like the derivative log of this bit. 
right? So it's just, just quickly, just log of x plus cosine x. Derivative x plus cosine x. I differentiate inside one minus sine x. Uh, there's a negative sign again. So, but this antiderivative is just just this. So I eventually is just log x times x plus cosine x. Like I said, there's a negative sign coming out. So negative 2 log this x plus cosine x plus c. So combining log, but we can first put this two on the power, right? This is fine. So log, we just divide this by that, log. But this divided by that, this is only one bit, right? There is a square, so uh, this can cancel out. So uh, x sits on the top. Bottom is just this x plus cosine x, right? Just just this bit. So again, so this is exactly that. The same thing, right? Just log divide by that. So equal log minus log. 